How to get 100% in boards within a week. In this video, I'm going to be guiding you on exactly how to do that in points. Over here, I'm writing points. Now, the first point over here is goal. If you look at this, first you need to have a goal. Over here, the goal is get 100% in boards. And you have to do that within a week. Now, the second point is over here, just one second. Second point is plan. To achieve a goal, you need to have a plan. For this over here, you need to make a timetable of one week. And then that, you need to follow the timetable. To follow the timetable, your timetable should be 16 hours. You have to study at least 16 hours. I mean, you have to study at least 16 hours a day. Try getting your study time to close to 16 hours and make a timetable. You have to analyze yourself and then make a timetable first. And in within the timetable, you have to include your whole daily activities and make sure that the study time in total is 16 hours or even close to 16 hours. For those who can't make a timetable, I've got you. I'm going to be making a timetable for you over here. Now here's a timetable I have made for you. You can pause the video and you can look at it. In this timetable, here are the timings and here's what you should do. And at the side, these numbers are the study hours. For example, over here, study hours are 3, over here 2. And if you add all the study hours, you are getting this up to 16 hours. And I know this timetable sounds like, you know, you have to study a lot. For example, over here, 5 hours continuously. But if you want 100% within a week, you have no other option but to follow this. Or you can even make your own timetable and follow that. But make sure the time you study is close to 16 hours per day. Now coming to the subjects part. First, this video is mainly for PCM students, okay? PCM, PE and PCMC students. Even biology, I mean... Biology students can also follow this video. You just have to apply the tips I told for maths for biology. And yeah, it's possible. Coming to the first subject, we have over here, that is PE. So wait, before I come to PE, if you are a student of CS, that is CS over here, there's really nothing. You know how many days are there for CS, for board exams? You can just be chilling, you know, before the exam. I think there are like more than 10 days, I assume. So you can cover that at then. So you don't have to worry about CS right now. You have so much time. Now for PE students, okay? Coming to PE students, uh, we have the exam date in like one week, okay? All I'm going to tell you to do is, you have to at least complete one chapter per day. Like make this a habit, okay? Just complete one chapter of PE per day and within one week, you can be done. I mean, there are more chapters, I think, but then, yeah, you can cover it up. Last day also, you can cover two, three chapters up. And this is YouTube channel, okay? Uh, he explains really well for PE in one shot. I mean, in 30 minutes, one chapter is done. In that way, you can easily cover a PE. I kept the link down in the description, so you can go and check it out. And it's very helpful for a PE subject. Now, so that we, PE is done, PE and CS are done, okay? These two are done. Now comes English. We all know we study English with just before the exam. And that's how you should do. You have to concentrate on other three major subjects right now. English can be done one day before the exam. For example, English over here has two days gap. So, before the exam, there are two holidays and you can easily cover it up. One day you can study all the chapters and then the next day you can revise and solve questions, PYQs, that's it. Now that we are done with three subjects, 
now we come to the first mainstream subject the thing is physics physics if you look at physics over here physics actually is on 21st feb now i'm telling you you should do majority of physics within this one week because if you look at other exams uh, like maths and uh, this chemistry they are so many days in before the exam but for physics all you have is three days before the exam you have three days and i'm telling you if you can't do physics now you can't do it within these three days your main goal should be to complete physics okay and how exactly to complete physics i'm gonna tell you and this video is for people who haven't done anything till now and how to complete it within one week and get 100 percent in votes that's why i'm going to be telling you from scratch how to complete it no physics is actually the exam of physics is actually gonna be easy how can i say that it's because see three days are there before the exam now in board exams how it is is it's actually directly proportional hard so now the more number of days before the exam the more harder the exam will be and the less number of days before the exam the easier the exam will be that's how it works directly proportional okay that's it now if you come to physics subject you have three days before the physics exam but now you have one week before the board exam start right all you need to do is just watch one shots you have one week that is seven days now if i if i'm gonna make seven days over here one two three four five six seven seven days are there before your PE exam. Now to complete physics, all you need to do is watch one shots. And one shots per chapter are like from three to four hours, okay? All you can do is, first you need to wake up. And over here, three hours are their study time. By the time you can watch YouTube lectures, like one shots for three hours. And by the time you can be done with the chapter. Actually, by all some chapters take more than three hours, but max to max, it will take three hours only. Some chapters are like done very easily. So I recommend you be doing two chapters of physics per day because physics has in total of 14 chapters. Okay. Now you have one week time. You can do like two chapters per day and it's easily done. In physics, it's, you know, easy. It's very conceptual and one hour for P by Q's. You can solve, you can complete two chapters in a day and one hour for P by Q's. That's it. Now suppose you have two chapters to complete in a day and one chapter, you know, max takes three hours. Now if you complete like two chapters, it's going to take six hours. And plus one hour per PYQ. This is a worst case scenario. You're going to take seven hours of a day to complete physics. But I'm telling you, it won't be this because see, six hours is when the two chapters you're completing are like very huge but usually usually max to max you're gonna take five hours to complete two chapters in a day that's it you can apply this for seven days and you'll be done with physics i know the last day is just before pe exam but you can manage it you because physics is important you know PE you can do it some more if you if you even do one chapter per day you can complete it. Now that we are done with physics, I'm gonna be coming with chemistry. Now see, physics occupies like let's average this out and let's just say six hours per day. Per day. Now in this timetable, if you take this three hours, two hours, and one hour from here, physics is done. Six hours per day. You just have to follow this and you'll be done with physics for sure. Now, second thing comes chemistry. Sorry for my bad handwriting, but I need to complete this video fast. So, for chemistry, the exam is on 27th Feb. 27th Feb is a chemistry exam. Now, if you look at this, for chemistry, we have like five days. We have five days before 27th Feb, which is actually a good thing. For physics, we only have three days. Five days, meaning, I'm telling you, you can use the last two days before chemistry exam.
for solving PYQs and questions and you know question papers and you can take three days from here three days from this five days you can study and you know phys uh, chemistry is be, uh, divided into organic inorganic and physical organic has like five chapters okay haloalkanes alco halorines alcohol cetosphenols aldehydes ketones carboxylic carboxylic acid and amines and biomolecules now the thing is amines and biomolecules are small chapters it will take like one hour per chapter so for physics you are taking six hours in a day right that's average down now in a day you are supposed to study 16 hours now six hours are gone you still have 10 hours left now suppose you are completing two chapters like amines and biomolecules that will take two hours now you still have eight hours in a day left and that chapter is done and for other chapters like haloarenes it's gonna take like three to four hours okay haloarenes are girls now if you apply maths for chemistry average per day per chapter you're gonna take around three hours or four hours let's take four hours because we make notes also now if you add this word you you already get 10 hours 10 hours of a day are done you still have six hours left because see physics six hours chemistry four hours in four hours you can complete one chapter and you know chemistry only has 10 chapters right now within one week you can complete within one week you can see the days over here within one week you can complete one chapter per day and by the end of this week you'll be done with seven chapters and before chemistry exam you have three days in those three days you can complete another three chapters that means whole ten chapters are done and two days for revision are still left and you can still ace the exam that's how it works now you can follow that one chapter per day trend over here and you can still be done with it now since physics and chemistry have occupied six hours and four hours we have maths also i forgot to mention chemistry exam has more number of days before the exam right so the paper is gonna be hard over here more days meaning more harder so you better practice it more understood for chemistry another thing is it's ncrt you you, you do ncrt fully that means you can get 90 percent less that's how it works ncrt that's it and uh, inorganic only has two chapters dna block and coordination compounds if you look at physical they are also electrochemistry chemical kinetics and solutions physical is basically formula based so you can just follow my before tips on how to complete that now here we come to maths maths okay maths has a most number of days that is nine days maths literally has nine days before the exam so what should you focus on now mostly physics somewhat on chemistry and uh, like less on maths okay i'm not telling least i'm telling less on maths because before the exam you have nine days and nine days before the exam meaning the paper is gonna be very hard that's why it's gonna work the paper is gonna be very hard okay because you have nine days before the exam and maths basically has calculus and other two stuff okay so because you see calculus okay Calculus has like five chapters continuity differentiability applications are derivatives integrals application of integrals these work can be counted as one chapter so basically if you're asking me calculus has continuity and differentiability applications are derivatives and integrals and differential equations over here integrals is going to take a lot of time so what i recommend you to do is since you're done with 10 hours of a day physics and chemistry are done you have six hours left in those six hours you can do maths but i don't recommend you like you know completely doing maths you have to practice integrals every day so i recommend you to do two hours a day basically just give your time to integration two hours of those six hours you have to spend on integrals now how many hours do you have left four hours are left four hours See, first you need to complete applications of derivatives, continuity and differentiability. These chapters take like, you know, these chapters take like 3 hours, 5 hours each. Like continuity and differentiability will take 3 hours to complete. So maybe first day you can complete continuity and differentiability. 
second day and third day you can dedicate it to applications or derivatives and start integrate integrals by the third day now from third day every single day you need to dedicate three hours i mean no two hours to integration that's it you have to dedicate that until seven days come and now before maths exam you have nine days right last two days you need to leave them for solving question papers and you know just solving test papers pqs and everything how many days are left seven days so maths has other chapters also like relation and functions inverse trigonometric functions matrices determinants vectors algebra 3d geometry and all all those chapters you can somehow divide them into seven days because apart from integrals i think apart from integrals everything can be done easily only integrals you need more practice understood so even in these nine days you need to keep solving integration questions and that's how you can complete maths also that's it so if you just follow my tips properly you can basically do everything and you can ace boards by getting 100% within just one week and that's how you do it coming to the ending of this video i'm just going to be summarizing here everything first of all you need to follow this time table or make your own time table to be able to study for 16 hours then only this is possible for pe cs and english just before the exam is fine you can study it pe you can do one chapter per day for this whole week understood now before the exam you can do two chapters now coming to physics physics exam you need to watch one shots every day and one shot you can complete two chapters per day and that will take you at maximum of 6 hours including solving pqs and everything so you can start of the day 3 hours 2 hours and 1 hour from here you will be done with physics now coming to chemistry chemistry you need to spend around 4 hours a day 4 hours meaning over here 3 hours and from here 1 hour like that you can complete physics and chemistry chemistry you have to do one chapter per day because before the exam you can complete other three chapters now coming to maths maths you have nine days so two days you can use them to solve pyqs and question papers and then you have seven days seven days you can complete seven chapters or more than that and for now for maths you just need to practice calculus properly so i recommend you to do uh, out of the other six hours you have left you need to spend two hours on integration and four hours on completing a new chapter and this two hours you need to spend every single day from here you need to spend two hours on integration for every single day then you will be done with integration even before the exam in this nine days you need to solve integration questions because once you do integration even differential equations is easy and that's how you do everything that's how you can you know complete everything and get 100% in both within a week and that's it guys all the best